Hey, Psych2Goers. When you like someone, it can be an exciting experience, but also a frustrating one. If you're not direct about your feelings, you might be wondering how to read between the lines to know if they like you back. They're always polite, they act friendly, they start conversations, but are they just being nice? What if you make a move and it turns out they aren't as interested in you as you thought? Knowing friendly from flirty can be a difficult task, but there are some subtle signs that could help you understand their actions better. Here are seven signs that they're not just being friendly. Number one, they give you friendly hugs. It's not unusual for friends to meet each other with a hug, but do you think that hug between you lasts a second too long to be just friendly? Or maybe they don't usually hug their friends unless it's you. If you noticed you're getting special hello and goodbye hugs, then you probably mean more to them than just a friend. Number two, they remember everything you say. Do you usually remember little details people tell you about their lives? Unless it's something that specifically caught your attention, you probably wouldn't remember it after some time. So if they randomly remember what you said about your childhood pet or some similar small detail, it means they were paying close attention. And if they pay close attention, they probably like you and really care about what you have to say. Number three, they take care of their appearance. Of course, when you like someone, you wanna look the best you can in hopes they fall for your awesome looks. And if someone likes you too, they tend to think the same. When they're near you, they will straighten up their clothes or comb their hair with their fingers nervously. Also, they will try to always wear their best clothes when they're near you. Number four, they try to get near you. Maybe you're sitting at a table and they choose the chair next to you. Maybe you're walking next to each other and they walk so close to you that your arms almost touch. If you notice them always trying to get as close to you as possible, it probably means they just can't get enough of you. Number five, they can't take their eyes off of you. Eye contact is one of the most important and telling signals of nonverbal communication, especially when it comes to attraction. Even if looking at someone while simply talking could signify just being polite, stealing glances from across the room, or even when you're not talking can tell you they're not just being nice. And even better if they turn their head quickly when you notice them staring. They're too shy to let you see that they like you. Number six, small talk is not so small. When you're being nice to someone, you probably engage in some small talk, especially if you don't know them well. The weather is so nice today. Have you been to that new restaurant? Did you watch that movie last night? It's just something you do to pass the time. But when someone likes you, small talk will not be enough for them to know everything they wanna know about you. They'll engage in meaningful conversation with you, asking you about your everyday life, your interests, what you like and what you don't, how your family is like. And of course, they'll sneak a question about your love life. And number seven, they put their phone away unless they're texting you. How often do you see people hanging out together and instead of talking, they all just look down at their phones or they keep checking it for notifications every two minutes while you're trying to have a conversation. If a person likes you, this likely won't happen. They will keep it on silent or in their pocket and focus on you. But when you're not physically together, they won't be able to let it out of their hands. Sending you messages, music videos, memes, or funny pictures will be more important. So do you think anyone in your life does any of these things? Were you looking for these signs because you like them back? If you're interested, try to play along. Hopefully they get encouraged and make a direct move, or you can be the one who makes a move. If you found this video helpful, like and share it with friends that might find insight in this too. Remember to subscribe to Psych2Go and hit the notification bell for more content. All the sources used are added in the description box below and thank you for watching. Until next time.